I'd like to speak to you about the allure of idyllic places and how this allure can become an insatiable hunger that risks turning us collectively into a kind of snake eating its own tail. Now hear me out. The allure of idyllic places is immensely obvious. Our contemporary malaise, our anxiety and our depression, the ideas of Dostoevsky of how modern man lives a life of quiet desperation makes it so that increasingly, if we can afford to, we want to leave the world that has gone we want to leave the world that has gone sick and reconnect with a kind of slower life. Reconnect with an idyllic beautiful quietude. We want simplicity. We want the profundity of simplicity, which we seem to have only become awakened to because of the sicknesses of contemporary life where humans increasingly are living without any kind of grace or serenity. Our lives have been and become defined by stress, by anxiety, by Darwinian competition. It's a do or die world. And so the idyllic beckons, right? But the problem and what risks turning us <laughs> into snakes eating their own tails or chasing their own tails is that uh, we risk turning the idyllic into a caricature of itself. The commodification of the idyllic has made it so that they have become almost prostituted places that have become, again, caricatures of themselves. I know I've flown to places like Mallorca or the Greek islands in search of a feeling, in search of that simple life, in search of that blazing sunset, that quiet profundity. And all I've found in those places instead is a bunch of tourists taking photos for the gram. All I've found instead is a place that has become disnified, commodified, prostituted, and turned into a caricature of itself, which has robbed it of the fundamental character that we're all desperately trying to purchase to begin with. And so the question then is whether the idyllic can ever be bought. You know, we're all so hungry to, to go to that place on the brochure which offers us a way of life and a way of being and a way of seeing. And yet, how is it possible for that to be sold to us? You can't really by the idyllic. The idyllic is something you arrive to, something that emerges maybe when you've found your place. But how do you find your place without buying your place? And the idea that, that you can purchase that dream seems increasingly absurd. And I know that I'm somebody that loves the postcard, but is often disappointed by the slightly more prosaic reality of the place that has turned into a caricature of that postcard. So the, the search continues. I don't know if I've gotten the answer, but I, um, I definitely am preoccupied with this idea because we want the thing in itself, not the commodity of the thing. And, uh, and that's, how it, that's how it works with the idyllic. So that's it, and uh, thanks for listening.